Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great and staying warm out there because it's definitely, definitely starting to cool down and I'm so happy it's sweater weather. Today's video is gonna be, as you can probably tell from the title, are gonna be on the bags that I was actually influenced to purchase by YouTubers on here. And I saw Hannah from Hello Catwalk City do this video and I thought, oh my God, what a great idea because more often than not we are influenced by other bloggers or youtubers to get certain bags because catches our eye when when we see it on them so these are my purchases that are influenced so if you'd like to see who influenced my purchases and what the bags are then please keep watching so the very first bag this was before i had any luxury bags and I remember specifically because it was right after I had moved home from med school and I saw that Diana Saldana on here had a what's in my bag featuring this beauty right here and I was like oh my god what is this bag I have to have it it looks so good and she had this same bag with the Dami Eben MM Neverfull with the cherry interior and I was like oh my god that is so beautiful I wish I could own something like that and yeah I totally fell in love with it the second she, she showed that on here and she fit so much in that bag and I was so intrigued I kept I remember I kept watching that video over and over and over again and yeah, I absolutely loved it and she also had the matching Josephine wallet and I honestly purchased that as well but after a couple of wears it had glazing issues on the side so I had to end up returning the wallet but this bag, I'm so happy. I still love this to date. I think this is probably my favorite never full and I just absolutely love how this chocolate damier band canvas looks against this beautiful beautiful cherry interior like how stunning is this i know a lot of people have this bag and it's basic or whatever but i still love it so much and i think it's one of the most beautiful totes in the market so yeah thank you diana for actually influencing me to get this and i should blame her probably for <laughs> my whole luxury purchases because this was just the beginning but yeah this is totally influenced by her and i'm so glad because i love this bag so much the next bag that was absolutely influenced was my beautiful montane bb right here again this was one of the very initial bags that i purchased and who influenced me was Holly Anna Ree on here. I hope I said her name right. I'm sorry if I didn't, but she's so beautiful. And again, it was a what's in my bag for this particular bag. And I was like, oh my God, what is this? Because it had the monogram canvas. It had a top handle and a strap. I was sold. And I, I love the organization of this bag on the interior and the beautiful plum lining so i was so excited but when i looked at it it was more on the pricey side that's probably why i waited till our barcelona trip to pick this beauty up and it's so special and it's one of my most favorite bags that i own till date and it's oh i'm so glad i'm so glad is all i have to say that it's it's beautiful and thanks to holly because she really showed how she fits different items in here and it's just one of the very best bags that I have because this is more um, the pricier side like I said and you honestly don't see a lot of these out and about and even the ones that I have seen are not in this BB size it's in the MM size and I feel like the MM size was a little bit too big for me because I'm only 5'1 and this was just perfect and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little apparent because I'm going to keep saying that I'm so thankful to all these influencers for showing their bags, but I really am because I love this bag. And like I said, this is one of the bags that will never ever leave my collection and it just brings me so much joy and I love it. And I don't see this BB size anymore on the website, so I'm so glad that I was able to get it when I did and yeah, I love it and it has feet. How amazing is that? <laughs> so Holly definitely influenced me to get this bag. 
and I'm so glad she did. It's beautiful. And another part that I love about this bag is that the handles kind of fall on each other like so. So if you have stuff in here, it's it's, it's like a barrier, so to speak. So if things are not going to like come out, it's going to like hit the handle and stop there. And that's what that's that's been from my experience because before I got one of those car hooks, I used to just leave this on the passenger seat and whenever, if I had to break that hard. And there has been a couple of times where I had to like break because you know how when it... It's so annoying to me because when the light turns yellow, I'm like, do I speed up or do I stop? I know, I know you have to stop, but sometimes it's like, it's been a while, I decide to go and then I'm like, no, I should stop. So I just bang on the brake. Not a whole lot of times. I'm not a bad driver. I'm a great driver, actually. But yeah, so one of those times I was, it was with this bag and the handles were down like that and even though it tipped over like so, my items did not fall out. So that was my long story short, or what was the long story? Anyway, but yeah, the Montaigne Beautiful BB. The next two bags are influenced by Lisa LB on here. Oh my god, she is so beautiful. But she totally, totally got me to purchase this Gucci Marmont in the mini size right here. So. I saw so many videos of hers with featuring this bag and her Instagram post and there was really no rhyme or reason. I just wanted it because I just loved how it looks and I still love how it looks. I know a lot of people think this is like very dated or whatever but I love it. I bought it. I'm keeping it and I especially love the heart on the back and I remember when I got this Again, it was in Paris because back then, you, you know that bags are cheaper in Europe and you do get the tax back. So I always waited till a trip to purchase a bag so I can save some money. So I remember the day that I got this, I was so, so excited. I, I think it was like 2018 or 17, I want to say. But I will insert a picture because I did pick this up from Paris on the from the Montaigne Avenue store. And I was super excited that I was like, don't even box it. I am just going to wear it. And I wore it out. And I'll insert that picture if I can find it. But I was super duper excited. And this bag still looks brand, brand new. So I love it. I still think it's a great bag. It... With a, I think with a simple outfit, this one still looks really good. Now, my only issue with the bag is I'm always worried that something's going to slip out of here. But so far, I have not experienced that. But then again, because of that issue, I am super careful with it. So, yeah, this is the beautiful, beautiful bag. I was sad when I found out that Lisa actually um, sold her bag, but... I don't know, I still love it. Yeah, so this was my Gucci Marmont by Lisa and another bag that Lisa totally influenced me to buy and which I am thankful for is my Givenchy Antigona Mini. You guys, but I absolutely love it and whenever I use this bag, it brings me so, so much joy and I mean, look at this leather. Do you... Oh, I just absolutely love how the um, light shines off of that leather like that so beautiful and this is actually pretty durable as well because i've had it for years now and i do not see any scratch on it and also this is the newer version with the strap that's like detachable i know the older versions have straps that are not but and i know some people have issues while walking with their strap coming off i have not had that issue so far knock on wood and I hope I don't but yeah I love it it's so spacious and it's ugh, I love the chunky zipper it's just I don't know it brings me so much joy this is like my favorite favorite bag in my collection and I kind of want to make a video on my on the top bags of my collection I'll probably do that by the end of this year and or rank my purchases of the year or something like that i don't know but let me know if you guys are interested but yeah this is so beautiful and i saw lisa with her what's in my bag video and her review of this and i was like sold i'm getting it and this was another one that i picked up from the givenchy in montaigne avenue from paris 
and yeah I love it and this is still one of my most favorite bags to grab especially during the um, fall and winter time so it's my beautiful beautiful Givenchy and let me tell you, oh, this is going to sound so redundant now, but this is, again, one of the bags that are never, ever going to leave my collection. I love it so much. Look at it. I just can't stop staring at how the light plays off of this, but definitely. I know, like I said, I know it's not in style, but if you guys were contemplating getting this bag, go right ahead. It's amazing. Now, you guys probably saw my unboxing of this little butte right here on my channel and you know what I probably don't even have to mention who it is because you guys probably already know and this was influenced by Amber Ashley on here and she is so funny I love her she has like three or four of these bags I think she just added a tool one as well which is very beautiful by the way and yeah I totally blame her for this purchase because I remember years ago when I had my Gucci Soho Disco, and or not had, I still have it, but I had that bag and I was, I'm crazy. I like to watch reviews on bags that I already have, but I'm sure you guys do too, let me know. But with that, she had a video comparing Gucci Soho Disco to this one and spoiler alert if you have not seen it, this one wins and I was like, what is the big deal? Why do you like this one over the Gucci Soho Disco? And I've been curious ever since then. It's been years and I am only now getting to purchase this. But probably because of COVID, I can't go abroad to buy bags anymore. But Or I can't go. We can't take our usual trips to Europe to purchase this bag. I was like, whatever, I'll just get it. But I love it. I don't know if I prefer this over the Gucci Soho Disco yet. Maybe I will make my own comparison, how it works for me. But I've been using this for a while and I definitely have my thoughts on this. Watch out for that review video as well. And yeah, I just wanted to know what the fuss was about. And she's absolutely right though. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It holds so much. It's very functional, perfect for every day. And I'm very glad. And it just looks very beautiful. Look at that beautiful, beautiful chevron i think it's absolutely stunning so thank you amber for pushing me to get this bag even after years but yeah i think it's absolutely stunning i agree with amber actually it's one of those bags that just you just want to get more of because it's so functional and so practical and it works so well but and i have to say the strap is extremely comfortable as well so i totally get why she has multiples of this. This was by Amber Ashley. And my newest bag purchase is the, you guys probably saw from my last video, it is this On The Go PM. And this bag was influenced by the beautiful Jenny Day on here. And she got this bag and I was like, oh my God, it's stunning. Like I saw it on the website, I was like, okay, that's that's cool but then I it wasn't until I saw it on her that I loved it so much because I was trying to get either the what was it the mini steamer PM or the Celine nano luggage and I think the sac du jour so I feel like this was a really good combination of all of them with this gorgeous Louis Vuitton grained leather and so for the nano luggage, I didn't get that one because I wanted it in the gold hardware and the only the smooth leather comes in the gold hardware and I specifically wanted the grained. So I thought this was just perfect and I don't know, I love it. It's such a great everyday bag. And when she actually, during for her unboxing video, when she showed the sides of it, I was like, oh my God, that is just absolutely beautiful. and empreinte leather is so amazing again it's just when you see something it's like you just know if it's gonna work out for you or not and whether it's gonna fit in with your lifestyle and your outfits and stuff like that and when I saw this on her I was like okay this will definitely work with my lifestyle and how I want to carry it and it's just amazing it's the perfect baby tote and I'm so glad she showed it on here because I I couldn't find a whole lot of videos on here on this bag so I'm very very glad that I got to see it from her and it's 
very practical i've been using it it's so great and i actually ordered a samorga organizer for this as well because i didn't want the interior microfiber to get dirty so yeah i love it so that does it for today's video guys i just want to give credit where it was due it wasn't for those amazing ladies i don't think i would have purchased any of these bags well, i will actually link the videos down below that i was talking about just so if you guys were interested on what led me to purchase these you guys can see it as well and yeah that does it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i thought this was such a fun tag that more people should definitely do that is all for today i hope you guys are all staying safe and happy i cannot believe it's almost thanksgiving this year went by super duper fast but yeah i am so looking forward to eating my heart out i'll be honest but yeah in case i don't see you guys before thanksgiving i hope you all have an amazing thanksgiving and i just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos i truly appreciate all your support and yeah that's all you guys i hope you guys all have an amazing rest of the week and i will see you right here with another video very soon take care bye Oh,